My name's Nathaniel Wood and I'm a current UFC featherweight fighter. I started mixed martial arts around 14 years ago. It's something that I'd always wanted to do with my life. You know, competing against the best fighters in the world, that's uh, my dream. And luckily, you know, I'm uh, playing it out now. So the last two years obviously have been frustrating to have two fights scheduled, one where I had to pull out with a broken hand and then the second one the guy pulls out the day before the fight, you know, it really was a, a kick in the nut. It was that kind of, the final nail in the coffin, you know, where I was like, why am I doing this? Why am I cutting this much weight for the guy to pull out the day before? You know, I was uh, working my absolute bollocks off for a solid 12 weeks just to get down to that weight. And then for the guy to pull out and the fight not to even happen, you know, I thought there's no, there's no need for me to do this anymore. To be back now, fighting again five weeks later after a performance at the O2 means everything. <laughs> Moving to 145, I think it's the best decision that I could have possibly made. You know, I want to be an active fighter. I want to be fighting four or five times a year. I was only staying in that bantamweight division to get certain fights and those people have kind of you know gone up the ladder now so I'm gonna go on 145 smash them guys and then you know hopefully come down and get the big fights at 135. I believe I'm at a point now where I can handle myself with anyone in the world whether they've got a couple of kilos advantage or not by no means am I going in a small 145er you know I still have to cut weight but now I'm able to be active and I'm able to be healthy you know I'm able to enjoy my life and you know, after training, I'm able to go home, have a protein shake, you know, have a decent meal for once with my missus. And, you know, I'm a lot happier and uh, I'm a lot healthier. And I think that the performance I did on my last fight, you know, shows that it was the right decision. It's like we've had a reset. Moving up to the featherweight, it's quite exciting. As his coach, ever since the very beginning, whatever opponent's in front of you, we deal with them after that. That's what happens. Charles Rosa was one of the first times that seriously come up with a game plan. Because when I first looked at him, there was submissions that he were putting in from even with a, my little jiu-jitsu background. So I, I don't think that should be going from there, but he's getting arm bars in some strange areas. So it was dangerous for Nathan to go to ground. This one, um, it would be nice if not only can you see Nathan striking, which I believe he's really good at, is that also you'll be able to see his grappling and his jiu-jitsu. So Jordan, I think, is uh, on paper my toughest fight to date, which is everything I wanted. You know, I want to work my way up that UFC roster. The way I see it, I've probably got a three, four year gap now where I'm in my prime. So now's the time, you know, now's the time to test myself. And, you know, that's what this sport's about, testing ourselves against the best fighters in the world. And, you know, I think Jordan's one of the biggest, or the best, sorry, strikers on the planet. So, um, yeah, I look forward to testing myself against him and, you know, I look forward to having that name on my CV. You know, there's not too much of a game plan for him. I think going in with my A game will be enough to beat him. You know, he's uh, quite a, a reckless striker, so he's quite hard to train for. So I'm just making sure that I'm the best athlete that I could possibly be come fight night. And I believe that that's enough to knock him out. I'm Nathaniel Wood and my NFT is dropping exclusively with Block Asset.